All right, so we're at the uh, Roosevelt Island Friday Food Pantry, and Frank Ferrance from the local CERT team is here. So Frank, can you explain the operation to us here, please? Uh, yes. Uh, what's happened is uh, we've graduated from doing the individual food deliveries and sort of the ad hoc way of delivering food to island residents who are in need to we went to then uh, Saturday deliveries, which you've seen. We were delivering to apartments and now we've graduated to a food pantry approach. And the reason why that's better for most people is that they actually get the, uh, the kinds of food that they like and that they need and that they want. And so what's happened is on, on Fridays here, uh, from 4 to 6.30, uh, they, uh, people line up here, okay? And the line, like right now, goes down, we're at 5.46, uh, the line goes down to about 5.10. It's about two blocks. Um, and, uh, and then people wait online here, they carry a cart, pretty much whatever you can carry. The idea is take what you need, you know, and you know, don't be a hog, but you know, take what you need and uh, based on the honor system. And so the people are coming in. This is the first point here because, and you have, we thank public safety because public safety officers are, uh, are helping assist here. They start the initial flow control here, managing the number of people in. So once you're beyond this point, then it's all crowd, uh, social uh, distancing, and it's, uh, and it's measured. You'll see, uh, do you want to come in? Yeah, please. Can you tell me how long the line is? How many people do you think are on the line? Right now, I guesstimate based on uh, somewhere between about 75 and 100 people. That's about uh, a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and a half uh, wait. Today, we did the first uh, half hour uh, and we served uh, 60 uh, clients. So we try to do very quickly, um, but you'll see as we get through it, there's only so fast we can we can move this and we want everyone to get the, the food that they need. Great. You ready for a tour? Let's go. Okay, so let's go. Thank you. Thank you, officer. And so this is the lobby here of 546. And this is the, the waiting area, the public safety officer here. Uh, make sure that people have hand sanitizers, they have uh, masks. So at this point forward, everything you know, has, you know, not only social distancing, but all the uh, COVID uh, precautions. You can see on the floor here that there are lines every uh, six feet, and that's the way it is then from here on until you go out. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough, you know, of this. Oh, and by the way, this is Brendan Hines. Uh, he's from the Boy Scouts. We have the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts uh, helping out here. Uh, there's about uh, eight or 10 organizations that all work together. Uh, that's part of our community disaster network here on Roosevelt Island, so we thank all of them. So, Brendan, what do you do here? Can you do I, I just do whatever they tell me. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Well, good. in fact, that's 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 what we all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's very fluid, but we all work together. So, this first station here is then uh, checking uh, the names off. Just make sure that you know people don't enter twice. As you can see, everything is still socially distanced. Again, another hand sanitizer check, just in case. Pardon me, sir. Oh, you don't have your ID, I need your name. Okay. And then, oh, yeah. and then we come in here, then here's the line. Uh, I'll just walk you through, maybe I can walk you through into, if I can find the light switch here. Um, here it is. All the lights to turn on. Okay, well anyway, this room here is, uh, is we store a lot of stuff. We're getting stuff continuously, and we are uh, unboxing it, sorting it. Like today, it looks like we got a lot of peanut butter. We've had tomato sauce, tuna. We got raisins, cereals, uh, milk. So um, there are a lot of things uh, in here that are uh, that we collect, and then we distribute that through the food pantry on Friday. Okay, so we so it looks like you just come in, but in fact, what's happening is you're getting uh, deliveries throughout the week that are all staged here and then brought into here. And then here's the main line. And just and where's the deliveries coming from? What? Where are the deliveries coming from? Who's supplying the food? Well, it's uh, Evangel Church, which is over in Long Island City. Um, they've been incredibly generous. Also, Dream Center in Bushwick. Okay, and I believe there are a couple other uh, sources, maybe. Uh, Wendy can give you the, the full details, but they come in bulk. We get deliveries out in the driveway. Uh, just before you came, we got a delivery of eggs, so they come in fresh and they go out there. 
going out right now. You'll see them on the, on the table. So let's just take a walk in then. And then this is another waiting area here. So this is the point where you have to, it's one big huge shape thing. You, you see everything marked on the floor here. Uh, so the first section here is the, uh, the dairy and the meat and prepared meals, almost like chicken we have over there, and cheeses, and then some microwave meals. I've had them, they're fantastic. Um, Okay, here's the jar, the jumbo, the or And then we have over here uh, the, uh, the dairy products and We get to the canned stuff here, which, uh, uh, and that's Demora right over there from the uh, Girl Scouts, and, and she's had her uh, Girl Scout uh, uh, Girl Scouts here. On this side here, we have the, we have the, the sauces, basically, the pastas, and what Brendan's doing, although not right this second, is he's bringing stuff out and restocking, you know, in here. We get to the grains, then, and the, and the beans, okay? And then, and then, and then we have the vegetables and the potatoes over here. The vegetables, I mean, take a look at these. They're all uh, fantastic. I think these are yams, okay? I mean, they're all, this is all fantastic. Okay, and then on this side here, we have the uh, fruits. Uh, today we got pears and uh, oranges and uh, end of the season watermelon cereals. Uh, over there and some juices okay and then I think there's one more thing which is uh, they get eggs and then they and then they walk out here and then at this point then that's the end of the line they exit through the back of the uh, the uh, senior uh, uh, center garden okay it also gives time you know for people to uh, to sort of reorganize their cart because in there we're sort of getting pushed through because you realize if someone stops here, it's sort of backing everything up. So we have to, you know, keep the line flowing to, to make sure that everyone gets through uh, uh, quickly. Today we're lucky to have the Census Bureau here uh, uh, saying hello to uh, any residents. Maybe they haven't uh, done the Census yet, so we're happy to have the Census Bureau. Okay. So this is a once a week operation. This is once a week. And the reason why we do it on Fridays is because it makes it actually easier for people to line up and get to this, okay? And it also means that we're not taking away from uh, Israel, the uh, Amish uh, farmer on Saturday and his operation. So uh, like I said, this is really for people who are in need of uh, and uh, it's, it's for people who are in need. And uh, you know, you come here because you're in need of food and uh, you, you know, food insecurity. And um, uh, and like I said, it's all based on the honor system and, and pride. So people can come away with a week's worth of food. Yes, you walk away. As you can see, uh, there's uh, people with uh, carts in there. Okay, they're they're walking away with like a shopping cart. You know, you know, food, and and you and you get what you need. You know, some people love the yams, and some people prefer the potatoes. You know, so yeah. you know, it's it, 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 We think this is better because overall, we can serve the island with a variety and a diversity of foods that also match the diversity of you know people's you know eating desires and 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 needs and, and habits, rather than trying to have a standardized box. You know, that was good to get everything started. Now we're more in uh, to a what I would call like a medium term or a long term uh, response to uh, the COVID uh, uh, and the uh, and uh, food insecurity. And you're set up now to do this on a continuing basis. Yes. Yes. Every every Friday. All right. Great. Great job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.